We Canadians love our outdoor activities. Today we're going to use the Life Fitness G7 Home Gym to focus on some sports specific motions. Exercises for things like golfing and maybe skiing. Alright Maureen, let's see if we can get a little bit of power into that golf swing of yours. Okay. Alright, so grab the high pulley, just like you're grabbing onto a golf club, and we're going to start the first half of the golf swing. Starting up nice and high and drawing it down to your side. And how heavy should this weight be? Now this weight we want, the whole idea behind this exercise is to actually try to strengthen up or put some power into it. So we want to use a little bit heavier weight and do fewer repetitions. We're going to work off of 12 to 15 repetitions. Okay. So you want a weight again that's going to be a bit of a challenge for you at 12, 13, 14 reps. All right, Maureen, now we got to make sure that that power lasts through the bottom of the stroke. So grabbing onto the lower pulley, bringing the hands up to above your shoulders. And again, 12 to 15 times. Again, we're looking for 12 to 15 reps, fairly heavy weight, so you're working the strength from those shoulder muscles. And then do I turn this around so that I'm doing the opposite side? Yeah, exactly. You want to make sure that you're building balance inside of your body all the time. So although you might be a right-handed golfer, make sure that you practice for the left side as well. Keeps all the muscles around both shoulders good and strong and, and builds a lot of stability around the hip joints. All right, Maureen, we took care of your time out in the links. Now let's hit the slopes with some exercises to help strengthen up your muscles while you're skiing. So we're going to do what's called an eighth squat. Go ahead and grab the handles just like you're going to do a regular squat. Come down about halfway. This time you're only going to come up about four or five inches. That's the way. Okay. And we're... heavy weight, light weight? Again, you want to use a fairly uh, light to medium weight because we're trying to work on the endurance in these muscles. So again, we're shooting for 15 to 20. Sometimes you can even stretch this up to 30 repetitions. Now, Jamie, this isn't gonna make me have really big thighs, is it? This is not gonna make you have big thighs, but it's gonna make you have strong thighs so that those thighs don't get sore when you're out in the slopes. Just a few simple exercises like that can really improve your performance out in the links or on the hills. See you next week.